Wow. Can't believe it. Explosive news. Breaking news. Pope Benedict XVI, who passed away to his eternal reward on December 31st of 2022, is posthumously releasing a new book, which he asked to be released after his death. And let me tell you something. I've been looking through it. This is explosive. And while he doesn't condemn Pope Francis, it definitely is going to cast a shadow, I think, on Francis. It also reveals so far that this text, if it's authentic, um, does recognize Francis as Pope. But the news that's buzzing is Benedict is very matter-of-fact about two subjects so far. The book is only in Italian. Someone sent to me an English version. It's pretty good English. I don't know if it's an official English version or if it's like a auto-translated or an AI translated, but it's pretty good. I'm going to read you a passage. Benedict is critical to two topics that we talk a lot, a lot here on the Dr. Taylor Marshall podcast. One is how the seminaries are completely infiltrated in the West. Strong, masculine, orthodox, godly men are turned away from the seminaries. And Pope Benedict addresses this. And I'm going to read a quote. This is from the book. It's from my version, page 297. Again, my version may not be the official legit one, but it's the one that was sent to me. Listen to this quote from Pope Benedict. This is from the new book. Quote, in several seminaries, homosexual clubs were formed, which acted more or less openly and which clearly changed the atmosphere in the seminaries. In a seminary in southern Germany, candidates for the priesthood and candidates for the lay office of pastoral contact lived together. During the common meals, the seminarians were together with the married pastoral representatives, partly accompanied by their wife and children, and in some cases by their girlfriends. The atmosphere in the seminary could not help priestly formation. The Holy See knew about these problems without being informed of them in detail. As a first step, an apostolic visit to seminaries in the United States was arranged. End quote. Pope Benedict is talking about homosexual clubs in the seminaries. This was not a secret. This was not something that Taylor Marshall broke in the book Infiltration for the first time. This was known all the way up into the Vatican by the Pope himself. He also talks about American bishops. I think it's interesting that he focuses on the 1960s. This is from page 96 of my version. The process of the dissolution of the Christian conception of morality, this is Pope Benedict, which had been in preparation for a long time, that's the thesis of my book Infiltration, experienced in the 1960s, as I've tried to show, a, radic a radicality such as never had occurred before. The dissolution of the church's doctrinal authority in moral matters had necessarily to have repercussions also in the different spheres of life of the church. In the context of the meeting of the presidents of the bishops' conferences from all over the world with Pope Francis, the question of priestly life is at the heart, above all, and also that of seminaries with regard to the problem of the preparation for the priestly ministry in seminaries. We know a large collapse in the existing form of preparation. Uh, it's not just the collapse, Pope Benedict. It is the removal of, like I said, masculine, godly, wholesome men from the seminaries, from the priesthood, and the preference for sodomites, the preference for Nancy boys, the preference for men light in their loafers. Why? Because those men are manipulated. Those men are yes men because they don't have fortitude. They don't have courage, bravery. They won't storm the beaches with gunshots. They'll sit with their little apple teenies and their little leopard print chairs with their little Baroque this and Baroque that. 
But they're not Francis Xavier's or St. Paul's, St. John Chrysostom, boldly professing and boldly going where the gospel needs to go. That's the problem. Bunch of Nancy boy seminarians. And it's been reported over and over. In America, over 51% of priests are homosexuals. Yeah, but Taylor, you're just like making stuff up, like grifting and stuff. I am quoting you Pope Benedict XVI. Do you want me to read it again? He says, Pope Benedict XVI. In several seminaries, homosexual clubs were formed, which acted more or less openly and which clearly changed the atmosphere in the seminaries. End quote. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's a fact. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's a fact. And we need to get to that. We need to accept it and we need to stop it. It needs to be eliminated. I am going to be working through this book. I've only had it for a few hours. And I'd encourage you to subscribe. If you don't already subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video. Over the next several days, I will be diving into this book. So far, only in Italian. I have an English version. And I will be reporting on what Benedict XVI has said in this new explosive book. It's important. So thanks for watching. And until next time, Remember that our Lord Jesus Christ said you're the light of the world and the salt of the earth. So go out there and be salty. God bless and Godspeed. Also, I have two videos that I'd like to invite you to read the, or listen to. The first one is on Pope Benedict's recent revealed statement that we're living in the time of the Antichrist. I'd like to encourage you to watch that one. And then the second one, are my thoughts after the death of Pope Benedict XVI, in particular, the significance of him dying on December 31st. Enjoy.